Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to the Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, another great week through the um, through the week with uh, Inner Stride winning his uh, winning two in a row now. He's um, he's absolutely flying that horse. He's a pretty, I don't think he's any champion. He's quite limited, but he uh, uh, don't you just love horses that jump out, put himself in a race, and um, you know really find under pressure. Kudos to um, uh, Craig Robertson. I thought it was a gun ride. Um, it's really interesting, like watching that race is. Uh, Funny when you watch a race, you sort of tend to uh, think for the jockey. And uh, every time I thought to myself, "Oh, you better grab old Robbo, or you better kick up now, Robbo," he sort of did. It was like I had a remote control on him, but um, it was really good. And uh, he's uh, probably head off, um, probably down to Hamilton or something now on Hamilton Cup Day. Looks to be another really nice race there, and there's no reason why he can't keep winning. Yeah, our runners this week will chuff off down to Warnable on Friday. Uh, a couple of really uh, interesting runners down there. We'll take a, uh, a filly called Bad Liar. She um, she went to Seymour the other day and I thought she was half a chance and she just could have kicked the back of the barriers and they scratched her without even doing a vet certificate. They just uh, they uh, just scratched her because she kicked out. So um, she gets her chance. To, um, uh, I've taken the blinkers off her. Um, it might be a good move or a bad one, I'm not sure. We, got, um, we were, it uh, uh, was a filly that really needed blinkers and um, we've just taken a punt that she's gonna learn to race better um, when the uh, blinkers come off. Uh, Crossbearer. Now he went really poorly first up and I tried to uh, educate him and ride him back in the field but uh, that didn't seem to work so what we'll do is we'll kick him out and let him roll up on the speed and uh, see if that helps. I've taken the blinkers off him and uh, he's, I thought he was a bit disappointing the other day and um, so he's going to change tactics a little bit with him. Uh, Prince Ziggy. Now um, Ziggy's been going really well at the races but he's been really difficult also to train which is to keep him really fresh. Um, I had him in the other day and it just wasn't this wasn't the right race for him on that Cranbourne Cup day so I've taken him out there and he will go to Warnable on Friday back to the 1700. Um, should suit he'll just sit out um, sit out about two thirds way back through him and make one big long sustained run around him. Uh, cool Cool World went great first up without a trial, just knocked up the last 100 metres or so. He's had that under his belt now. Um, just tinkered with a little bit of gear on him and uh, I just want to ride him a little bit off the speed and no doubt he'll be hitting the line. Just he, He's a very, very temperamental horse and uh, he's had coming off a really long spell. So I um, just want to make sure that we uh, get a lot of racing out of him. But um, he seems to be going really well in a race that doesn't look overly strong. If he relaxes early, he'll be all over that sort of race. You know, Saturday at Avoca, we go to, uh, we've got Severn Road in a 58 grade race there. I'm not going to run him in the cup. I just thought uh, he just wasn't weighted all that well in the cup. He's going to carry plenty of weight in the uh, 58, but I just think uh, I, w I wouldn't mind giving him a crack at a little country cup sort of in about two or three weeks' time. So um, this would be a really nice lead up race for that and a good ride for Trent. Uh, Marcello Sonata, and he goes to the 1300. He's really bright and fresh. He's had that one run under his belt. Uh, he'll be ridden aggressively early and put into the race, and uh, that's his sort of go, those sort of non-tab race meetings. That's probably his go. Um, he seems to be going okay. He just needs to sort of get out and get going early. Yeah, now Monday it's stalled. Now I've got a couple in there, I'm not sure going to run them. Um, I'm going to give them a gallop on Saturday morning and see how they work. But um, uh, Patronus was very, very good the other night. Um, just chased really hard. And uh, no matter where I'll take her, make sure you follow her because wherever she goes next, she should be winning. Um, so I'll either take her to stall or uh, wait another week. It depends on how she works on Saturday. GG Girl was very brave the other day as well. Had no, not a lot of luck in running and she's been a bit of a story of her this time in. Um, we had a little foot problem with her. We seemed to get that sorted out. I thought she chased hard the other day without sort of um, being really competitive. Was only beaten about three lengths. So drop her back down a grade at stall on Monday and she would think that she'll be around about the mark. Yeah, now we'll probably um, take Mosh Fago to Kilmore on Tuesday and a mile filly's a mare's maiden there. Um, just things just didn't work out for the other day. She drew a wide gate and the rider went back and then she sort of hit the running rail on the point of the corner and this didn't, the race just didn't work out. She still ran home okay. Um, there should be a bit of a drop back in grade and if she can half pie draw a gate and posse up midfield, I think she um, should be right around about the mark at uh, Kilmore on Tuesday. Geelong Cup Day Wednesday. Now, uh, a couple of really key key runners there. We've uh, got, obviously got Kawabata, who um, seems to be at the top of her game. Now, we're just going to toss up whether we take her to the Cup or run her in the restricted grade race. The race that I want to get her to is on Melbourne Cup Day, so I probably need a half a kilo penalty to get into that race. So, um, really uh, tossing up which race to go, it's very important. I can't have her running uh, fourth or fifth in a restricted grade race if she has no luck. Her pattern of racing is get back and run home, and if it's a big field, in the restricted grade race she might end up in trouble where she might be better off going around in the cup um, where she might be a chance of running third or fourth um, make that decision on uh, probably Monday now uh, Macrobius who had a great prep last time in he'll run first up there and uh, seems to be in really good condition uh, 1500 first up looks ideal for him he uh, seems to be going good um, he's worked through the weeks great so um, I expect him to go really well 
Um, and I'm not really sure, I've got a couple of other horses that uh, we, we're tossing up. Um, Bjorn Pretty's just about ready to rock and roll, not sure whether I'll run her there or Thursday, um, but it uh, really all depends on their, on their, on Tuesday, on, uh, their gallops on Saturday. But at the moment, definitely Calbata will run and definitely Macrobius will run at Geelong on Cup Day. Yeah, now Ballarat Thursday, as I said, uh, Bjorn Pretty, I'll gallop her on Saturday morning and make a decision whether we go to Geelong on Wednesday or go to the race on Thursday at Ballarat. So it's the uh, Phillies day at Ballarat where every race is for Phillies and mares. So and I've got a couple of those sort of horses. So um, really all depends on their work early in the week. But um, at the moment, I'm probably leaning towards um, going uh, to Ballarat Thursday with Bjorn Pretty rather than Geelong Cup Day. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week we're going to go with last week's winner, Inner Strider, a horse he's known by Around the Stables as Benji. Uh, he was brought over from New Zealand and uh, advertised on the website and uh, he, uh, the owners who took, uh, took shares in him, uh, they've really been paid dividends now. He's put two from two together and um, he'll go to Hamilton Cup Day and uh, hopefully he can make it three for three. Hi right, guys, uh, it was good to get another winner uh, during the last week. Uh, we got one home at uh, Donald uh, El Corazon for uh, Paul Banks. Um, he sat off just off the speed and was strong to the line thank late. So thank you to Paul and Connections for the ride and looking forward to sticking with him uh, in the future. Uh, as for the week ahead, we've got a couple of rides tomorrow Friday at Warnable and a good book of rides at Avoca, um, most notably our mate of Severn Road who um, Ran a nice, ran a gallant fifth in the Gumbau Cup. Probably a few in there that were just a bit stronger than him. But um, yeah, he's going well and hopefully he'll run a good race again down in class. And um, yeah, we've got a good strong book at Avoca. So really looking forward to hopefully uh, building on the momentum of last week. And hopefully I've got a winner or two to report to you next week. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, uh, Geelong Cup Day Wednesday, always a good day. Hopefully um, we can have a couple of horses race really well. Obviously, Cal Barter here, we, uh, she might go around in the cup. It really all depends on how the races hold out, but um, she's uh, probably right at the top of the game and deserves a crack at a really good race. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I want to make sure that she's placed in the right race, that she can, she's a chance of winning. But um, uh, as you can see, she's in great condition. She's very fit and well and uh, lovely and sound. So good luck, girl, if you tend to go around on Wednesday. Till next week. See you later. New Zealand have come over and bought 23 of their members and uh, they're going to have a punting competition against uh, the Geelong Thoroughbred. Yeah, pretty tough sort of staying efforts they've both been, sort of long, long sustained runs and... Uh, uh,